beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are reviewing the Alexander Karavev High D Whistle. It is the Nightingale High D. I have got a review for the Low D Whistle as well. Um, I'll link that up here on the little i in the description down below. And at the end of the video, if you want to find out more about the Low D Whistle. Now, this whistle has come from bigwhistle.co.uk. If you're a regular to my channel, you'll know I've mentioned them before. It's a UK-based online website that sells a selection of high and low whistles from a range of quality tin whistle makers. Um, great place to look if you're shopping online and you're based in the UK or even Europe and you want to check out all these amazing whistle makers all in one place. Now, as you can see, when you order from Big Whistle, um, your whistles are delivered in sturdy packaging. They're wrapped as well in Big Whistle tissue with a little Big Whistle sticker on the front. And this is the Nightingale High D. Now this High D whistle is tunable. We have an adjustable tuning slide right here. Um, the tape around the center here is to make sure everything slides nice and smoothly. It's easily replaceable. And the whistle itself is actually a polished aluminium. It's a straight bore whistle, it's nice and lightweight, and we have a handmade ABS plastic mouthpiece at the top here. This is actually attached to the metal body, so you can't move the mouthpiece, but you can move from the tuning slide here in the middle. We have a sticker at the bottom showing the key of the whistle. You can remove this if you don't want to keep this on. And at the top here, we've got this nice angled mouthpiece. It's quite narrow at the top, which kind of makes it fit quite neatly into your mouth. Um, it's sort of traditional square design and we've also got the logo embossed on the ABS plastic here. Now before I get into the tone, the sound, the voice and the playability of this whistle, I would like to say that Big Whistle have offered me a 20% discount code on this whistle. It retails for £105 on the Big Whistle website at the moment. There are 10 in stock as this video goes out and there's 20% discount code and I've put that on screen right now. So that's an exclusive discount code. I'm the only one who has this discount code. If you would like to buy one of these whistles, you can go on the website and use this code on screen and linked in the description to buy this Alexander Karabev High D whistle and get 20% off. So I'm going to start with a quick tuning test and a decibel test so you can see the volume and the tuning of this particular whistle and then I'll give it a little playthrough for you so you can hear how it sounds. So let's go over the pros and cons of this Alexander Karavev whistle. Firstly, the pros. It is uh, an aluminium whistle, so it's very lightweight. It's got quite a wide bore and quite thick material for the body here. So that gives you a good range of volume on the bass notes and on the high notes. It's definitely a whistle that will get you heard. It would be great for sessions, great for live open spaces, would hold up well against other instruments as well if you were playing in a band or if you were playing anywhere where there will be other musicians, you'll definitely be heard with this whistle. It's comfortable to play. It's not a slippery whistle, which is great for people who struggle to hold on to them. And as usual, the finger hole spacing and the Ornament abilities on this are really straightforward and simple. It's a nice comfortable grip here. Um, plenty of space if you have wider fingers, but also not difficult to cover if you have slim or slender fingers either. It feels sturdy. 
it looks professionally made, it sounds nice, it has quite a traditional sounding voice to it, which I think will complement trad music really well. You don't need that much air to hit the higher notes, and it's quite easy to get these cleanly, but if you're going right into the highest notes in the second octave, the B and A, they do take a little bit more push, and a little more uh, breath control is needed to really force the air through this. Um, it's not an easy hit on those highest notes. It's one of those whistles that you do need to be able to play loudly in order to get the most from it. Um, personally, for me, I probably wouldn't use this whistle all that often myself, just because I mostly play at home. I think it's probably a little bit loud for just playing around the house. But definitely, if you do go and you play out and about, this would be absolutely perfect. As I said, sturdy and lightweight, which is great for travel, and also you will definitely be heard. For me, I am much more used to using a lot less breath. So although this whistle doesn't actually require a lot, it does require that extra push. So you won't find yourself out of breath with this whistle, definitely not. Um, it will take smaller amounts of breath on the lower notes, you just need to be able to get that direct airstream in order to hit those top notes cleanly first time round. So I'll give you one more quick playthrough before we finish. So that is it from me this week, folks. I hope you loved this review on the Alexander Karabev Nightingale Heidi Whistle. Don't forget you can get 20% off with this coupon code on screen here if you head over to the Big Whistle website at bigwhistle.co.uk. I have linked that in the description down below as well. And you can get 20% off this whistle while stocks last, so do go check that out. Be quick, because these will definitely go. If you want to see the low D Caravave whistle, you can find that right here on screen, plus some other cool videos that I think you'll enjoy. I'll put up the two tunes that I play today. The first was Anfiochen, and the second one was Maids of Selma. Don't forget to tune in again next week for some more Tin Whistle tunes and some more Tin Whistle fun. But until then, have a great weekend, happy whistling, and I'll see you folks soon. Bye.